Hi everyone, this is Sonali Dev and I'm so glad for this opportunity uh, to be able to do this virtually. I was really looking forward to uh, being at Gleba and getting to meet all of you. Uh, but um, given that we cannot do that in, uh, in this crazy uh, time that we live in, uh, at least we get to do this. So thank you so much uh, for still giving uh, the authors who were going to be um, at Gliba a chance to share their books with you. Thanks also uh, for everything uh, that you've been enduring to continue to um, take our books to readers. Uh, this is not an easy time, uh, as we all know, especially not for uh, retail when, um, when shoppers aren't able to come out. But thank you so much for being on top of the online orders, for doing virtual um, virtual events with us. I'm doing a virtual book launch um, with uh, a local indie, um, Anderson's, uh, which is my local uh, indie bookstore that's about half a mile from my home and where I basically um, have... Um, raised my children almost and have done all of my book launches um are doing an amazing job uh, of, of fulfilling um online orders and um still continuing uh, to take signed books uh get signed books in the hands of our readers so thank you so much for all uh, that you do um i'm incredibly grateful and um, so now um, a little bit about my book, which comes out May 26th. Uh, it's called Recipe for Persuasion. And I think you're seeing an upside down, a mirror image of it. But uh, Recipe for Persuasion, as the title suggests, is a, a, is a reimagining of Jane Austen's um, Persuasion. It's a very loose uh, reimagining where um, I explore a second chance uh, at first love, so to speak, but more so um, what it takes to become a different person, to get something um, that you wanted very badly but messed up um, to work out the second time around. So it is the story of Ashna Raje, who is a chef who's trying to save her, um, who, who's trying to save her father's failing restaurant and she, uh, in a bid to um, to save the restaurant, she goes on a Food Network show called Cooking with the Stars, which is uh, like Dancing with the Stars, but uh, with chefs and celebrities. So she goes on the show uh, hoping to get her restaurant um, some exposure and, of course, uh, the winning money um, can help her pay off some of the debt on it. And uh, the celebrity that she gets stuck with is uh, naturally the the man whose heart um, she broke back in high school. Um, he is a World Cup winning um, soccer player originally from um, Brazil. He's gone on to be a, a huge star in football, and um, and and he believes that she uh, succumbed to familial pressure to um to familial pressure and dumped him for those reasons and he is very angry he's looking for closure uh, but now she is entirely dependent on him to win the show so the power dynamics have kind of flipped just the way uh that they do in the original persuasion what uh to me is the most interesting part of this book however is that it is a two generational retelling so this is also the story of Ashna's mother who was forced into a marriage with her father um, who was a prince because this is set also in a royal family the Rajas who are now um, who have now immigrated to uh, America so this is also the story of uh, what happens uh, when when women from traditional cultures decide to stand up for themselves and to go against uh, the norm 
and um, what the collateral damage in that is because Ashna and her mother's relationship is very estranged because Ashna is um, the collateral damage um, from her mother taking a stand and, um, and, and going back to um, the man she wanted to marry in the first place. So um, this is almost, um, uh, it's almost as much a um, love story between mother and daughter and them finding their way um, around their estrangement as it is a story of um, how that has then leaked into Ashna's uh, relationships and how she finds uh, a way to heal herself where she is um, ready to let love into her into her life. So that is Recipe for Persuasion and it comes out May 26th. I hope um, that you are all staying safe um, and uh, of course staying indoors but finding ways um, to stay healthy and um, and productive. This is Sonali Dev signing off. Thank you so much again for letting me do this virtually.